before we get to the review, I actually ordered pizza from my favorite pizza place, Minerva's. And dear God, does that pizza look delicious. You are probably wondering, why are we taking a look at the box for the toy? Because, well, they're so massive, I have to do one at a time. Also, hope you guys like the new intro for TMNT reviews. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I think it was basically Destiny. That little part was exactly as long as my intro. But anyway, the Shell Razor, one of the best vehicles in TMNT toy lines, in my opinion. And this is phenomenal. Well, at least in the new one, there were some pretty cool ones in... Uh, 2003 and uh, the eight, 1980s. Well, I don't remember the exact year, but anyway, uh, the box is pretty awesome. I mean, this is gorgeous toy style artwork of the characters inside the van and right here. I mean, these are stylized after the actual figures, which is pretty freaking awesome. You got TMNT for ages four and up. This is a massive box. I mean, huge box, and you do have to do a lot of assembly with this. But you got some of the fig uh, features highlighted. You got the actual pictures of the figures, which is pretty cool. And on the side, you got the Ninja Battle Boosters. Hidden tricks in the Ninja Arsenal. Ninja Battle Boots are designed to take ninjutsu to a new height. Watch out for the awesome Soul Razor coming through. Featuring 30, 360 degree ninja flip kicking action. Uh, foot, foot trooper missile firing. And a hold down battering ram. Plugs onto the top of the roof of all of your for all of your ninjas and we got bio shell razor streets of the sewer are awesome vehicles from underground falls the city streets the turtles massive all-terrain shell razor revealed and ready to smash the evil shredder and and the ready crank ha uh, <clears throat> hacked with attacks of the ninja battle boosters that make the turtles flip out and over this 400 horsepower, 400 horsepower, that is awesome. Monster of mission is a mission of justice, turtle style. And holy crap, this thing is just an awesome toy. I do have some complaints with it, but it is pretty cool. And also, I am one of the few people that has waited to actually see this thing in the actual episodes and to see it in one or two episodes, at least at the time of this recording. And, uh, yeah, I can actually point out the differences and inaccuracies and all that kind of stuff with this, but, man, this is a massive box, so let's take a look at the toy now. You will have to forgive me, because for this to fit in frame, I kind of fall away from the camera. So let's move it in a little bit, and, uh, yeah, let me compare this to how big this is to a TMT figure. Uh, here is Shredder. Shredder will stand up. So Shredder... Here is April. Here is Raphael. Mikey. Um, put him right there. Stay. There's kind of a comparison. You can see this thing's pretty big. And I do mean pretty freaking big. In fact, this guy can actually hold all of the turtles, including April, Metalhead, and split. In fact, here's a video of me taking them all out. So, uh, yeah, this thing is just absolutely massive that it can hold all the turtles and it still has room. Now, um, Splinter and April, uh, have a little trouble getting in, especially Splinter with the tail. That's no problem. Just put him through the top roof. So, uh, yeah, this thing has a lot of stickers. In fact, there is no paint on this toy. Every color, like this red here, the silver here, the silver here, the red here, the green here, which, by the way, is supposed to be green all over the top, is that this is all different plastics. Like, all of this is just different plastics with sticker decals. And the stickers are pretty tedious to put on. Uh, I had to take, it took me about half an hour to put them on, and I did mess up with a couple, but I was able to fix them. And, uh, yeah. Now, one thing I've kind of noticed is that it's a little reversed in the show. Where the big tires are here, it has the fl this f kind of flat end right here in the back, with these boosters here. These were in the front in the show. Now, um, 
the stickers add a lot of detailing. I'll, I mean, a lot. Uh, I'll post some pictures actually right here of the detailing and all of the stickers that really make this thing shine. And they are a pain in the butt. I recommend using a toothpick, uh, some some kind of little flat thing you can use to get in the grooves, and just use that, and you'll do good. Just take your time. Anyway, here is one thing about this that I really don't like. Now it does have these subway carts here because we actually learned that this thing can travel on subway wheels because these wheels move up. Now the Lego version does this. The this version doesn't do that. It just kind of sucks because that's one of the cool things about this that I really really like. So uh, you can't do that. And when you put these pieces on, they are on. So take your time. Put the gray pieces on first, then put the wheels. This you can put on any time. But just make sure you put all these gray pieces in. And speaking of which, uh, yeah, these red pieces are removable. And I did place these in correctly. They're supposed to be on the bottom, but you couldn't see them. But uh, yeah, also these are pre-applied because these would be a pain to put in. Now uh, let's talk about some of the gimmicks of this thing. And it has a lot of cool gimmicks. Uh, this missile launcher is removable, as you can see. And you can push the button and it will fire a missile, which is pretty cool. And this is a little short, but your figures can grab a hold of it. And it does have a cockpit on the top here. Oh, the cockpit here lets you put figures directly into it. And it just closes up and down, as you can see. Uh, and then you can have a man heal. And this rotates fully. Here is the door. This is the other way to get in. And pushing this button right here causes this to flip. Now, this comes out and your figure will be connected here. Alright, so I have a turtle in there. We're just going to try the gimmick out. Uh, yeah, mine didn't work because I screwed it up. But usually it will deploy pretty well. It just depends how you put the figure in and if there's any clearance issues with the legs. And it's kind of an okay gimmick. I really don't like it that much. It could have been better. But uh, yeah, you can open this just by pulling it with your finger. And then the other way in is right here in the front. And this does actually feature a peg hole for your figure. So it's right there. And the inside is detailed pretty well. It has a nice texture to it with some lines. I can't really get any pictures or images of it because it's very dark and very buried in and very awkward. But uh, yeah. And this thing is full of detailing. I mean, for no paint apps, it has a lot of cool detailing. It has some nice detailing here. In the back, it has a lot of really cool detailing. It could have used some touch-ups with silver paint, but I understand why they actually had to use the stickers, only because if you didn't, this thing would be smaller and expensive with paint apps. But, uh, yeah. I really like how, the, how this is definitely a scratch-built feel. How things don't match, like these windows don't match. I really like that. That is very cool. Nice touch. This isn't professional. This isn't something that took a lot of money. These were scrap-built by Donatello. Which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it has a lot of nice detailing. Like, there's some really nice detailing here. It's all over the thing. There's some really nice detailing. I just really like this thing. It's really cool. It's basically the party wagon on steroids. Or, this could be the car love child of the party wagon and the tumbler. Huh? Didn't think about that, did you? But, uh, yeah, this thing is just way too cool. This is one of the coolest vehicles, and I just freaking love it. I mean, it it's just so cool. Like I say, it has some good detailing, it has, uh, the stickers are nice, and they are a pain to put on, but it's worth it in the end. And, yeah, if you definitely have t the money to buy this, I would highly recommend it. There is an RC version and a LEGO version, so, and this version, so you could take your pick of which one you want. I would recommend this one, although I hear the RC one's actually going to be pretty cool. And the LEGO one does actually have the wheels go up, but those are for your minifigures. And it, it just is all around a great, uh, package. And I think it's worth the money because of the mass and size of this. And I do understand why they did stickers, as I mentioned before, because if they did paint apps, it would probably be small and more expensive. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the look at the Shell Razor. And I really want to hear what you guys think of this. Do you really like it? Do you hate it? Do you think that this is one of the best vehicles in the TMNT Turtle franchise and stuff? I just really want to hear your opinions because... I freaking love the thing, and you're going to watch me fail at putting these figures in. It does take a little bit of time to get all the figures in, and it does take some time to do it, but in the end, I think it's worth it because you get some really cool stuff to do. 
you can have them uh, off the sides of the wheels because they can't hold on. Like, see. And you can get them inside, just all chilling in there, which I think is pretty cool. I like that feature. And you can even put the weapons in here. Like, here are some weapons. Just throw that in there. But, uh, yeah, I just really like the thing. I think it's one of the coolest uh, vehicles we've gotten. It's definitely one of the biggest in this Turtle franchise because there's only really, like, four vehicles, including this one. But, uh, yeah, I just really like the thing. Uh, sometimes pieces like this will pop off, but these just clip back on into place. It's not a huge deal. You didn't break the toy. You didn't damage it. You didn't really do anything wrong with it. it you know, it just pops off. And, um... Yeah, not many complaints. I do understand the price range and stuff, and again, this would have been smaller and more expensive if they didn't do the stickers. And the only really other complaints, I wish this gun wasn't just a clip-on, like this, to cover this piece here. I actually wish it had a little firing that could fire and stuff. But, uh, and I also wish these could go up, but uh, I guess that would be spoiling some stuff. But, uh, yeah, it does roll really well. I do really like it, and... Again, I just can't recommend this thing enough. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the of the vehicle, and I will see you guys later. Till then, adios. Oh, God, that was a lot of pizza.